This lesson is on configuring the Classroom Performance System, or CPS, software. In our last lesson, we installed the software, and now we're going to prepare that software for use. The first thing that you have to do is create a database. But, before we do this, we want to create a folder to accept the database. So I'm going to right-click on the desktop, go to New and Folder, this will create a new folder on the desktop, which I'm going to name CPS Database. I have created the folder on the desktop for ease and demonstration. You probably would want to create this folder in your My Documents folder or in some location that you normally back up on a regular basis. Having created this folder, we can now open CPS. We'll double click on the icon and that will open up a dialog box that says open or create new CPS database. Create new CPS database is already selected because we don't have any existing databases so we just click OK. Once we do this we will need to navigate to the location where we created our folder, the CPS database folder, and we're going to name the file CPS data and click Save. So now our database is being created and this will take a few minutes. After a few minutes the main CPS screen will pop up and it will be followed by an HTML help screen. This help screen gives you links to a number of functions in CPS that will be very helpful to you as you become more comfortable in using the CPS system. For right now we're just going to close this help screen and continue with our quick start lesson. As you can see our CPS database is listed and the next thing we want to do after creating the database is to create a class. You will notice that at the top of the screen there are three tabs, Prepare, Engage, and Report. We want to make sure that the Engage tab is selected. After you select the Engage tab, click on the Engage Verbal button. This will bring up a dialog box which will give you an option to create a class. Click the Create button. Now, you'll notice that the title of this class is Default Class, and since we are doing a quick start, we're going to let this default class be the name of our class, and we want to set it to match the response pads that we have in our kit. In my case, I have a set of response pads that are numbered from 1 to 24, so I'm going to leave the lower range at 1, and I'm going to set the upper range at 24. I'll tell it OK. Once I have done that, I'll tell this dialog box OK. And that immediately brings up this verbal engage bar. This is what you would see if you were actually engaging a class. We're not actually engaging a class at this point, so we just want to click Close and it says the action you have chosen will end the session. Are you sure this is what you want to do? Click on Yes. And that brings you back to the main CPS screen. So we have created a database. We have created a class to match our response pads. And that's all you really need to do to configure the CPS system to get started using it in your classroom. This is the end of the lesson on software configuration.